Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to show you one trick related to high pass filter. So high pass filter is nothing but those filter which suppress the low frequency component or attenuate the low frequency component and passes the high frequency component, right? In simple words, we can say like this. Now in images, what is high frequency component where rapid changes are there and low frequency component means little change in intensity level like maybe background of the image most of the time has not that much uh, change okay right so those are low, low frequency component where in a particular area little change in uh, intensity value is present those are low frequency component now the application of high pass filter is to attenuate those parts okay now we have already discussed several high pass filter, what is the mathematical derivation, how to do the programming, all this I have discussed. Now we might need to remember the kernels, but today I am going to show you one trick which you can easily use to create high pass filter quickly if you forget maybe one particular kernel equation. Okay, let me show you that trick. So here for the demonstration purpose, I have taken one small part of our image input image okay which is basically low frequency component okay and as it is low frequency component that means little or no change in intensity level that's why for all the pixel values i have taken same intensity a a a a a a a a a now what is this particular kernel uh, as you know from my previous video discussion i have uh, discussed with mathematical intuition also that this is nothing but our popular Laplacian filter which is used for age detection that means nothing but that is high pass filter right that is this filter we are getting by using double differentiation concept in discrete mathematics okay now see what we generally do we convolve this particular kernel with our image right now here just do the convolution so element by element multiplication here we have to do a multiplied by 0 is 0 a multiplied by minus 1 is minus a, a multiplied by 0 is 0, a multiplied by minus 1 is minus a, a multiplied by 4 is 4a, a multiplied by minus 1 is minus a, a multiplied by 0 is 0, a multiplied by minus 1 is minus a, a multiplied by 0 is 0. Okay. What is the resultant? The resultant is 0. Okay. That means what is happening? When we are convolving this particular low frequency part of our image with this particular convolutional kernel, that time we are getting the overall result as zero. That means this particular low frequency part is removed from our image, right? That's what the high, high pass filter does. That is, it removes the low frequency component. Now, see this trick or very important property of high pass filter. Summation over all the coefficients for a particular high pass kernel should be approximately zero okay and if for any kernel approximately you are arranging the coefficient such that the overall summation results uh, resulting to zero that can act like a high pass filter why see when we are multiplying in this particular left part which is part of our image so those are low frequency component we have to remove. So that means in that particular part, not that much changes are happening in intensity level, right? So we have to multiply this part. We have to arrange the coefficient such that in this particular kernel that summation over all this becomes zero. So when you are multiplying element by element and then take summation, then also it will become zero. And as a result, our low frequency components can be easily removed. So this is the trick. For any high pass filter, if you want to design your own high pass filter, that time just you need to keep in mind that summation over all the coefficients, if that is zero, that has uh, a capability that, that can act like a high pass filter because what you are multiplying, that is not that much changing. That is these coefficients you are multiplying. Okay. So these are not that much changing in low frequency part. So if this summation is zero, after element by element multiplication also, there is a possibility summation will be nearly zero or exactly zero here i have not changed the intensity levels at all kept all same that's why we are getting zero but actually low frequency component does not mean that in a particular patch all the intensity will be same it will be approximately same that time also the resultant outcome will be very small approximately close to zero that means low frequency components can be attenuated so this is the trick you can design any kernel just make sure that summation over all the coefficients are zero like 
I have discussed, right? Sobel edge detection, pre-wit edge detection. You check minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 to 1. Summation is 0 of coefficients. For y direction also this. Uh, summation is zero. This is for pre-wit filter x direction uh, edge detection. And this is for y direction edge detection. Take summation over all the elements minus one minus one minus one plus one plus one plus one overall zero plus one plus one plus one minus one minus one minus one overall zero. Like let, I can show you some more design and I'll be showing you with visualization that this can act like high pass filter. Maybe I have discussed this particular filter right our actual Laplacian filter. So here what we can do make all this plus one and make this four as minus four so our filter may look like this zero one zero okay then here one zero one zero one minus four okay see summation over all the coefficients are zero this is just nothing but i have reversed the sign of this particular original laplacian filter so ideally according to our intuition this also should look like what this also should look like one high pass filter i'll be showing that then some more design just try to make sure one thing that that approximately looks symmetric kind of nature like here we can see the symmetry right maybe another possibility maybe minus one minus one minus one minus one here also minus one here minus one here minus one here minus one so how many minus one one two three four five six seven eight minus one so to make overall result zero i am making here eight okay right then another possibility can be i am just writing here here you can reverse all the signs of minus one instead of that you can make plus one and instead of this eight you can put minus eight and check as well another possibility i can show you maybe one minus two one minus two four minus two one minus two one okay see what is the summation four and four ones eight four minus two minus eight overall zero so this one this one this one all this should look like what all this should look like one correct high pass filter let us check that so first let me copy one particular code okay here this particular one i am copying and here i am going to matlab online pasting here what i have done clc clear all close all warning off i have taken one particular part of image consider this as one part of grayscale image which is having very less intensity change so this can be considered as a low frequency patch and i am taking one matrix okay that is looking like this 0 1 0 1 minus 4 1 0 1 0 okay what is the summation over all the results summation over all the results is uh, all the coefficients are basically 0 now we are doing convolution okay valid means no zero padding i want to do let's check so ideally when convolution will be done with this particular part of the image we should get all the coefficients near to 0 let us check control a evaluate selection what is the y value you can check in comment window see minus 10 minus 5 10 4 approximately near to 0 all the coefficients see how much high the coefficient value was nearly 150 range okay but all these low frequency components are attenuated by, is, by using this high pass filter i can change the sign i can make this minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and make this as 4 okay so again overall outcome over overall uh, summation over all the coefficients are zero so this also should look like high pass filter and attenuate all the coefficients see 10 5 minus 10 4 like this only okay right now let me show you with one practical image clc clear all close all okay warning off right then here x equal to im read coins dot png figure i am show x figure okay h equal to maybe i can take one particular filter which i have just now designed okay maybe let's take this one first row all minus one second row minus one eight minus one third row all minus one okay let's go and here minus one minus one minus one minus one eight 
minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay then here I am show I am filtered x comma h okay okay we are getting error dimension of array being concatenated uh, I am filter okay here actually semicolon will be there sorry just keep an eye here double arrow should come uh, okay, this is space coming okay no error see this is our original coins image and see edges are detected using this particular filter which I have designed so only thing is summation over all these coefficients are zero okay uh, so this can attenuate the low frequency component and it can show only the high frequency parts which are edges let me reverse the coefficients or what I can do here I, just, I, I can just multiply with minus one okay so you can verify what is the value of h see h value is just reversed just now what we have used right so let's check whether this can act like high pass filter or not it should also act like high pass filter because uh, summation over all the coefficients are zero so see this is again acting like high pass filter uh, let me show you some other design okay maybe this one we can take because summation over all the coefficients are here also zero okay so here in h let me show you that maybe 1 minus 2 1 okay then minus 2 4 minus 2 okay 1 minus 2 1 okay so just we can randomly design like this kind of high pass filter and why this high pass filter is very important because in computer vision in many part edge detection is a very important step and first step of many algorithms okay right so see here here also edges are detected but not that much uh, be better way but still we can understand that this is acting like one high pass filter attenuating the low frequency component so just you need to remember this particular trick that is summation over all the coefficients are zero mostly for high pass filter and the reason is very simple the only aim of the high pass filter is attenuating the low frequency component so with the particular part with which it will be multiplied uh, to attenuate those are almost same almost same intensity level because those are low frequency component so overall result also we want to attenuate that means we want to make towards zero only so we will be arranging symmetrically the coefficient such that the overall summation here itself will become zero so after element by element multiplication taking summation then also resultant will be towards zero only because here in this particular part in the low frequency component there is not that much change so it can easily attenuate right I hope you have enjoyed this. This is all for my this video. Thank you.